Hello, this is Jared from LearnToDroid.com. Uh, today we'll be going through a tutorial on how to use Git and GitHub in Android Studio. Now, uh, Git is a source code version management tool that's used to uh, track the changes that you make to a code base. Uh, it makes it very easy for a virtual team of multiple developers to contribute to the same code base. It's got features like uh, branches uh, to be able to allow developers to work independently and when it's time to um, uh, bring their code together and merge their code. Uh, you can put in a place a, a pull request policy to to manage those um, mergers uh, effectively. Um, now, Git, GitHub is a hosted version of Git uh, on the internet. It's a uh, got a web interface. You can access it via a browser to look at your uh, code repository. Um, you can see the changes made by different developers. You can see all their commits. You can see the different branches that they're working on. Um, so that's so that's Git and GitHub. So what we'll go through in today's tutorial is how to set up Git and GitHub in Android Studio. Uh, we'll cover how to create a new Git repository and publish that to GitHub uh, via Android Studio. Um, and we'll also cover how to clone an existing uh, GitHub repository uh, in, into Android Studio as well. Um, so you can follow along with this tutorial of got an article on my website, learntodroid.com, available in the description that has detailed instructions and screenshots. Uh, so check that out as well. And now we can get started. So now we can get started uh, setting up Git and GitHub in Android Studio. So first what we'll do is we'll need to make sure that Git is installed on your local machine. So I've included a link in the blog post uh, in the description of this video that uh, will take you to the link to the official Git website to download Git on your local machine if it isn't already installed. So there's different downloads available for Mac, um, Windows and, and Linux available. So make sure you download that first and install that on your machine. And you also need to remember which uh, path uh, that Git has been installed at on your machine so you can provide that to Android Studio when we configure that later. Next, we'll set up Git inside Android Studio. So to do this, go File, Settings, uh, select Version Control, then select Git. Now, I've already set up Git uh, in Android Studio already, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to provide the path uh, to your Git executable um, and select the OK button. And then to test it's working correctly, just select the Test button and you should see a pop-up showing Git version, whatever the version is, is installed. Um, so you can leave all the other default settings at this stage, that's all fine, and then select OK. So now that Git has been set up in Android Studio, what we'll do next is we'll create a new Git repository via Android Studio, and then we'll promote that code base with um, a new Android project inside it into GitHub. So to do this, uh, we'll create a new project first in Android Studio. Git project two. So what I'll do is um, change to the project view in Android Studio, which will contain all the files within the Android project. Now that we've created uh, this Android project, uh, to set up this project to use Git, what we'll need to do is we'll select the project, go into VCS, and select Enable Version Control Integration. Uh, for the version control system, select Git, and then go OK. So this will create the code repository, the Git repository, uh, and this will be on your local machine. So now that we've created the uh, Git repository, for this Android project, what we'll do is we'll make some uh, changes to this uh, code repository. Uh, we want to add all the files that are in this uh, Android project to the Git uh, repository. Now to do that, you need to right click on the Git project uh, two and then select Git and then select add. So this will basically add all the files that are in this Android project to the Git repository. So next, we'll need to make a Git commit, which will um, add a new entry 
as a contribution to your code base, uh, which will include all the added files, all the files that we've added that will be uh, broken down to one commit. To do this, uh, right click on the Git project two, select Git and select commit directory. So this will show you uh, the changes that are being committed. So these are all just files getting added and we'll need to provide a commit message. So I'll just call this git message initial commit. Then we'll select the commit button and this will make a commit. Uh, there's some warnings here, but uh, we won't worry about that. We'll just select commit. So next uh, we want to publish these changes to a repository on GitHub so that other developers can check out this code and look at it. So, uh, so this is github.com. You'll need to create an account and, and log in. So uh, what we want to do here is we want to create a new uh, repository. So select the plus button, select new repository. So this will be a public repository that anyone on the internet will be able to see. Uh, if you have a private code base, you want to share with a few developers, you want to select the private option so that it's not available for everyone to look at. So this project will give it a name, git project two. Then we'll select create repository. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to publish the code changes that we made in our git repository in Android Studio to this uh, Git project two in, in GitHub. So we'll need to copy this uh, URL here to the GitHub repo and use that in Android Studio. So we'll go back to Android Studio. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, use a git push command uh, via Android Studio to publish the commit that we made to uh, the GitHub repository. So select VCS, select Git, and then go down to the push option. Um, so what we're doing here, we need to define the remote. So select define remote and enter the URL you've copied from github.com and select OK. From there, uh, select the push button and it will publish the changes to github.com. Uh, you should see a pop-up message there showing that. So now if you go back to your repository in github.com and refresh it, you can see your full Android project uh, available in GitHub. And what you can see here is this commit message we used, initial commit. So you can um, have a look at that and see this was what the commit that was made. So all these files being added basically. Okay, for the next part of this tutorial, we'll be contributing to an existing uh, Git repository on GitHub. So what we'll do is we'll clone an existing uh, Git repository on GitHub, and then we'll make some changes to that uh, moving forward. So uh, the repository we'll use is just a, a forked repository I forked of the Ultimate Android re uh, reference, which is a very, uh, very good um, resource if you want to check that out. Uh, there's a, a link in um, my blog post where you can check that out and have a look at it. It's got some very useful links in there. So it's an excellent resource if you want to check that out. What I've done with this existing GitHub repository is I've just created a fork of it, which is basically a copy of it, uh, which allows me to show you how to uh, clone a repository and make contributions to that code repository. What we'll need to do now is we'll need to clone this uh, GitHub repo. So to do that, we'll select the code button and get the uh, URL, so copy that. To clone this GitHub repo in Android Studio, what we'll do is we'll select File, New, Project from Version Control, we'll enter the GitHub URL of that code repository, then we'll select the clone button. Okay, and then we'll just select yes, go next, 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 finish. So now you can see the code repository has been cloned.
Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to make some changes to this code repository. Um, so what we want to do is uh, make an addition to this readme.md file. So what I'll do is I'll uh, basically add some extra text here saying, um, hello world. Okay, um, now next what we need to do is for the readme file, we'll need to make a commit. So right click on the readme file, git commit file. Uh, and we'll see that this code has been added. This line has been added saying hello world. So we'll just say in the commit message, add hello world text and we'll select the commit button. So this commit will be made uh, to the local repository. So if you actually go and refresh the GitHub repository, you won't see that change yet. There's no hello world here. So what we'll do now is we want to make this change uh, to this remote repo. So what we'll do is we'll uh, push that change So select VCS, git, push. Select the push button. Okay, and then if you go and refresh the project in GitHub. Okay, there's been a commit added one minute ago by me, and you'll see this hello world here. Okay, so that's a very basic tutorial on how to use Git in GitHub in Android Studio. Uh, for some more advanced uh, topics like uh, uh, branching and merging, I suggest you check out the link in the description uh, to my website, which it goes into a bit more detail around uh, creating branches and merging branches. Um, so thanks very much for listening today. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe.